Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, tonight I'm making another poem video. This one is number 83. For tonight's poem video, number 83, yeah, number 83, I have three wrestling poems I'm going to read to you guys. One, yeah, I have three right here, and yeah, and they're both from different brands of NXT. One, on the USA side, on the USA side, and two, that come from NXT UK, so... Yep, I have three poems based on the NXT fellows that you all know very much of. The first one we've got is one based on Kushida. Yep, the dude who I love to see become champion someday, especially with the North American title. Last time I saw him go after it, he was so close to the Fiend Gargano. Until if you're Johnny No Balls, you pretty much have something up your sleeve to keep that title with you as ever. And then, yeah, we got the second poem. Based on a UK tag team and NXT UK, the team of the Mod Father, yeah, the Mod Father, Flash Morgan Webster, and his partner, Man Andrews, short for Mark Andrews, yep, as I like to call them, the Welsh Brothers, yep, because they're both from Wales, so yeah, yep, they're both from Wales. So yep, that poem's based on them. And I've got another poem based on a tag team that are two time NXT UK World Tag Team Champions. You may know these guys. They were so close to getting through pretty deadly last week when their belts were on the line. But if you were pretty deadly, you always have something up your sleeve, I believe, just to feel like it's there. Not only that you defeated Gallows, but you got... I whoa, whoa, whoa. I always what I said. I always what I said. Not only did you defeat this tag team to get to where we want to be, you defeated this tag team for what they've held for so long. So, yeah, the second poem... The third poem, yeah, I mean, the third poem was going to be based on the famous tag team that are two time NXT UK World Tag Team Champions. And that would be no other than the team of Wolfgang, Joe, and Mark Coffey, known as Gallus. So, yep. So, get ready as I read you the first poem. Yep, the first one is going to be on Kushida. Yep. This poem is based on the NXT time splitting fellow Kushida. Yep, Kushida. Kushida is my favorite dude in the NXT land. His journey has come to expand. I have watched him in every match. Him bringing the fight is the best catch. The fans chant his name every year. You know he has no fear. I remember him facing Walter before. He took on Walter, that's right, the NXT UK World Champion. I remember him facing Walter before. That was a true battle to adore. Kushida has a, fanta Kushida has a fantastic submission hold that could lead him to championship gold. NXT is thrilled to have Kushida in their nest. He will be champion like the rest. Kushida fights more than with his fist. Japan has a rising hero who totally exists. Get ready as I show you the picture of Kushida, my friends. Say, oh, hold on, hold on, my mistake. Give me one minute. This dude, right here. This is our Back to the Future Samurai, Kushida. Yep, I hope he wins the title someday. I know he was so close to the North American title, but he will become champ. But I could, yeah, he was so close to the title. Until Gargano has some definite sleep, like I said, yeah. But don't deny Kushida, he will be champion someday. I can picture him going for the North American title again. Alright. Let's see. The next poem we got on will happen to be no other than the, UK, the NXT UK tag team known as the Mod Father, Flash Morgan Webster, and his best pal, Mark Andrews, known as Mandrews, as they are no other than the Welsh Brothers. I remember the Welsh Brothers very much. I remember when they scored their first taste of gold for the NXT UK World Tag Team titles. Them becoming champions was not only a moment to happen, it was a miracle to remember as ever. So, yeah. So, get ready as I reach this home, based on the Mod Father and his pal, Mandrews. This poem is based on them as they are known as the Welsh Brothers. The Welsh Brothers. I remember two fellows from Wales who came this far in a story tale. We have Mark Andrews on the right, 
responsible for the journey being bright. Say hello to the Mod Father on this ride. He brought passion rising with pride. The two made history by becoming tag champs. You would see them rise on the ramp. Managers and the Mod Father became a team to exist. They saw a dream they could not resist. Their wish came true of catching gold. The best part was the tag titles to hold. A promise was made to never fall. A promise was made to never fall. Looking at a team standing tall. Managers and the Mod Father are the best team to come along. Their spirit continues to rise and stay strong. Give me one second. This is my team from NXT UK. From NXT UK. Mandrews and the Mod Father. Yep, this was them when they were World Tag Team, when they were NXT UK World Tag Team Champions. That was a true moment and a miracle to happen as ever. All right. I've got one more, and you guys are going to love this one. The next poem is based on another NXT UK tag team. This is a tag team faction that have been growing since NXT UK started. And these three dudes are from the same country known as Scotland. That's right, Scotland, the home country of Drew McIntyre. And any fellow that rises from Scotland. Yeah. So these three are from Scotland, and they've been on top ever since NXT UK started. They've been a remaining tag team faction, and this is the same tag team that won the NXT UK World Titles, not, World Tag Team Titles, not once but twice. They regained the belts when they competed in a failed four-way tag team ladder match that involved them against Imperium, against the Grizzly Young Veterans, and against the very same tag team that was defending the belts in that match that time, the Welsh Brothers. Yep. So get ready as I read this poem that is based on the, the yep, NXT UK's tag team known as Gallus. That's right. Gallus. The team of Wolfgang, Joe Coffey, and his brother Mark Coffey. I call this poem based on them. I call this poem The Greatness of Gallus. Gallus is a tag team faction with their own strength. Facing every team at a level length. Joe and Mark Hoffey are always ready for a fight. You wonder if it will be if it will be bright. We have Wolfgang as the enforcer to tell. He loves a throwdown after hearing the bell. These three represent Scotland with home and pride. They never let a problem or situation slide. I remember Wolfgang and Mark Hoffey going for some gold. A true tag team moment being told. Wrestling is what gals always adjust. They rely on each other with sensing trust. Gals is on top of the tag team throne, rising in the champion zone. Alright my friends, get ready I show you the picture of Gallus and you're gonna love these and you're gonna love this. So get ready to show this to you all. Right here, we've got Joe Coffey in the middle. We've got Wolfgang. Uh, yeah, Wolfgang right there. And his, and we got Joe Coffey's brother right next to him, Mark Coffey. This is when Gallus won the NXT UK World Tag Team titles in a ladder war, regaining them for the second time. So, yep, this is them. This is the tag team faction known as Gallus. Yep. Yep. Yep, so there you have it, my friends. That was the poem. Those were the poems based on NXT fellows, Kushida, Gallus, and the Mod Father and Mandrews. So, yep, I hope you all enjoyed them. You know, I, I wish to, I want to read another one, but you know what? I think I might will as ever. So, so let me see if I can find another poem. So, yeah, I'm going to try to find another one. See if you guys would like to hear one more. So, yeah, hold on a sec. I just want to let you guys know that my birthday is coming. I have a birthday coming up this Sunday, March 7th. See how we are in March. And 
I look forward to Sunday because it's my birthday. I mean, if you wonder how old I will be turning, I will be turning 27. So that's right, my friends, 27 years old. Yep, yep. And I look forward to Sunday as something, something memorable happening. So, yeah, it's going to be real good. So let me see if I can read you guys one more poem, and this will be it for tonight. This is number 83. Yep. So get ready as I read you one more poem to post this. Yep. Wait, I could do one on current. Yeah, that's what happens. All right, my friends. Yeah. Alright my friends, I got one more poem you got you guys are gonna love this one. This one is based on a TV show I used to watch on Cartoon Network all the time. This one was one of my favorite Cartoon Network shows. Uh I mean I fell in love with this show when it first debuted it and I remember it's time from the late nineties to the early two thousands, so yeah. This was a funny show to remember on Cartoon Network. And let me ask you all a question because this is because I got a feeling you all must be Cartoon Network fans. How many of you all remember this show? Courage to Cowardly Dog. You can't forget him. I mean, every time something freaky and bizarre happened in the middle of nowhere, Courage will always freak out. Especially Panic when he knows that something, he could sense something not right coming towards the direction of where he was standing. Yeah. I love the show. It was very funny and all. But you gotta admit, creepy and bizarre things did happen. I mean, I remember how the, the introduction was when the show started. It was like, we interrupt this program to bring you Curse the Cowardly Dog Show. Starring Curse the Cowardly Dog. Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bag. Ah, but creepy stuff happens in nowhere. Ah, it's up to Curse to save his new home. And of course, if you were Eustace and you never liked Curse so badly, you would do anything to freak him out. I remember him saying this, Stupid dog, you make me look bad. Blah, 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 blah. And Courage would freak out as ever, like, ah! All right, so. Get ready as I read you this poem based on my favorite TV show from Cartoon Network back then. This poem is based on the TV show known as Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage was a dog who got so scared every time something bad was aware. He lived with a couple on a farm. Not to mention there was always harm. You have Muriel, who was very sweet. Take a look back when she and Courage would meet. Eustace was a hateful lad who hated Courage so bad. He would frighten him with fear, which always happened every year. Bizarre creatures would rise out of the gate, not knowing how much damage they will create. Courage will do anything to make a save. Despite being scared, he will try to be brave. All right, my friends. Here's another. Here's another poem. Here's a picture of my favorite character from Cartoon Network back. Then. My favorite character from my favorite show from back in Cartoon Network, the good old days of Cartoon Network. This is him. This is Courage the Cowardly Dog. This is Courage. And it says right here, it says, meet Courage, a brave but frightened dog. Yep, and I always knew Courage would be afraid of anything that frightens him. I remember him saying this, I know I'm not going to like this. Yep. I even remember him saying this in an episode after Eustace said these words, that's it, you're sleeping in the attic. I don't want to sleep in the attic. I'm telling you, there's something not right going on here, but my name is Shirley, and it's not. Yep.
All right, so there you have it, my friends. That was it for tonight's poem video of number 83. I have read not one, not two, not three, but four poems. Yep, the first three were based on wrestling characters from NXT, which we have Krishida, the mod father of Mandrews, and of course, the Scottish tag team faction known as Gallus. And the poem I just read you based on an old Cartoon Network show I used to watch when I was growing up was known as Courage the Cowardly Dog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this poem video. This was number 83. I will be making more of these. And you guys have been, fan have been wonderful as ever. So I hope you enjoyed this as always. So I say thank you for your time, guys. I'm going to get going right now. I say thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your Friday night. And I will see you next time when I make another poem video. Stay tuned for number eighty four because I will be making them soon. I will be making them soon. Okay, thank you for your time, my friends. Take care and see you next time.